Welcome back Poké fans to part 11 of my Pokemon Floral Sky series. Last episode we defeated the Team Magma Admin in Chapos Island and we have been teleported back here in Great Big City. It seems like there is something new that's gonna be happening in the Deep Forest which is right next to the Fluor Forest and you will be able to go there by Route A. Before that we do have to go ahead and go back to the building where the chairman was and where we actually defeated the Team Magma Admin. There seems to be some kind of discussion happening so they have actually invited us over there. Let me quickly make my way over there and we can move on. Now I would definitely advise you guys to go ahead and get a lot of healing items as well as the full heals, repels etc. The reason why I'm saying this is because we are going through a very dense area after this section in the game and you won't be able to heal your team members that often. Also, you will have to catch a legendary Pokemon as well. So, before you come back to Plate Pick City, definitely go to Chapo's Island and get the item or, you know, Ultra Balls from there. As you can see, in this shop, we won't really get Ultra Balls, so you won't be having any chance of buying them. Personally, even I haven't bought any Ultra Balls, so let's see how this goes. Either way, let me make my way to the chairman's office and we can see what discussions we are going to be having. To be honest, I completely forgot about this. So do not worry going to Chapo's Island and everything. You will be able to buy Ultra Balls right here. So, okay, this is uh, something I completely forgot about. But yes, this is where you can actually buy a lot of other items like Pokeballs. Um, I've gone ahead and bought some timer balls as well personally well that was good for us now that we are here in this building and I think this is where we fought the team magma admin we do have to go ahead and enter this room and move on forward so let me make my way to the room that we are actually supposed to go to which is down below um, and we can go from there let's quickly enter this room and here are the people that wanted to talk to us Currently, Cynthia is always as usual over here whenever there is something important that's going on. Quite nice to see her. And it seems like Professor Rowan is here as well. Alright, they are definitely telling us to go ahead and go back to the deep forest. And it seems like both our rival Sky and Wally are making their way over there. I bet Brandon is gonna be there as well. So that is gonna be our next destination. But before we go over there, there are a few items that we can actually pick up. You know, um, just optional items. But I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick them up. So let me quickly make my way over there. And we can see where we can go next. Oh, and also you will be able to get a Master Ball over here as well. So if you do not want to cast the Legendary Pokemon in an Ultra Ball, definitely do not want to waste your time. Then you can go ahead and use the Master Ball. Alright, now that we have got it, I think we can actually make our way back down and see where we can go next. Alright, this is the right exit of Plate Pit City and as you can see, we can actually go up through that slide over there. Now that we have a bike and if we come all the way to the end, as you can see, there is an NPC who is waiting for us. Now, before you talk to her, make sure you have a dream mail because she does need one in order to exchange it with a client stack. Clan's tag is quite important as it lets us get some newer encounters that we'll only get if we have this item so you do need to actually get this one. Alright, other than that, I think we have another path that we can actually go through. This time we go through the south one and you might remember before when we were talking to the gym leader to call her back to play Pick City, there was a cut tree that was blocking a path to the house. So now that we have the TM for cut, that is air cutter, we can actually go ahead and go through this and check out the house. Alright, I'm actually excited to see what we can find over here. I mean, it's quite isolated. And okay, it's a cemetery, which is a bit weird, but alright. And it seems like we do have an item over here. So it's actually an yellow shard. This is the only item you'll get over here and I think it's quite rare and it might be helpful so go ahead and get this item as well. 
Alright, now that we have got all of the items and I actually tried running around through this grass over here but apparently there is no encounter for this one. I guess it was skipped initially so I wasn't able to find any Pokemons over there. Let's make our way back and I think we can actually go ahead and finally go through the south of this Great Big City as well. Before that there are actually two houses that are kind of yet to explore. The main reason why I didn't really explore those houses was because I had to get the clan stack. So let me make my way over there and we can actually check out what we can find in those houses. Alright, here are the two houses I was just talking about. It is right next to the shop in Plate Pick City. All you have to do is go inside, it kind of looks like a cemetery. And you will be able to actually find castles and haunters in this house. And I believe haunters are a bit rarer. But I'm not really interested in them. I'm just going to be showing you what kind of encounter you might get. In case if you have got the cleanse tag. Since we do have that item, we can actually go ahead and use it on this tombstone right here. Which will actually activate another battle with a another haunter. Again, this is not, um, I guess, mandatory. It's kind of optional. And definitely I'll go ahead and battle this one. Why not? But this isn't really the main thing in this house. I believe that um, there is another small cutscene that will occur. Yep, here it is. And it seems like a secret stairs has opened up. So let's make our way over there and see what we can find. Alright, in this corridor it seems like there is only one tombstone. So it's quite special. Make sure you save the game before you go ahead and interact with the tombstone. Because if you lose an encounter with this Pokemon, then you won't be able to actually get any. As you can see, there are two holes in the other side. Not really important, but we just have to go ahead and inspect this tombstone. Alright, here is the special Pokemon that we can actually get only by encountering over here. Surprisingly, it's actually a Duskull. Quite nice. And if you want to add this Pokemon to your team, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Personally, I'm not going to be doing this, so I'll actually skip out this encounter. As I discussed, there is another house in this um, city as well. And by doing the same things what I just did now, you'll be able to find another Duskull over there. Um, if it's the newer version, I believe you'll find another Pokemon over there. Probably it will be Litwick. But... In my game, for some reason, I actually encountered another Duskull itself. So, I guess the older version doesn't really have Litwick. Alright, here we are in the roof of the second house. And you have to just do the same steps. But for me, I think this door was actually opened even before I interacted with the uh, stone with my cleanse tag. So that was a bit weird. But anyway, I'm just going to be encountering this Duskull as well. Because why not? I'm not going to be using it. And it's cool to see its sprite over here in this game. So let me just encounter it. Alright. Um, in case if it was actually a Litwick, I would have been so happy. I mean, I would rather use a Litwick than Growlithe. Just because Litwick does have a part ghost type as well. And it's a pretty good Pokemon overall. But sadly as you can see, it wasn't. So um, I guess that's all. Alright. I think we are done with Plate Big City. We can actually make our way out of it through the north and make our way to a small town. Right next to the north exit, you'll actually find a sunstone, which is quite nice. But, alright. Um, okay. For some reason, it said my bag was full, but the second time when I tried it, I was able to actually pick it up. So, okay, that was a weird glitch. I am in Route D now and there is actually a cut tree over here as well. Alright, let's go ahead and explore this small area right here. Before we go to the small town from where we began our journey. Alright, seems like we do have a ninja boy over here. Quite nice to see one. I'm not sure if I have my um, cardboard up in front. If not, I'll go ahead and try using whichever Pokemon I have. Apparently, it's later on, so let's just go ahead with Headbutt. Alright. Not bad. I think one more move should be able to take it down. 
As always, Niljas is a pretty cool Pokemon, but it is pretty weak. I mean, one fire type move will be able to take it down, so not something I would personally use. But if you want to try a unique Pokemon, it's a unique Pokemon itself. All right, I decided to switch into Gardevoir since he was actually going to use a coughing. Let's quickly take it down with a Psychic, and. While I was passing through the strainer, I actually saw that there was an item that we can actually pick up. So let's go ahead and see what that item is. And I believe that's the only thing that we have over here. And we get a moonstone. Not bad. We got two different stones uh, in this episode. I mean, one was a sunstone and this one is a moonstone. Quite nice. And since we are here, why not go ahead and visit our mom? You know, we are coming to our house after a long time. And it seems like she actually is going to give us the item amulet coin. So that's quite nice. You can definitely go ahead and equip this item to one of your Pokemons. It's going to help you uh, get some more Pokemon. -y. And now that my team members are healed up, I think we can actually go ahead and move on through Route A. Alright, here we are right near the entrance of the polar forest. Before you go ahead, make sure that your Pokemons are completely healed because you are going to be going ahead and battling one of your rivals right here. And the rival that you are going to be battling is actually going to be Sky. I am actually very excited for this battle because the last time we battled him was just when we got our first gym batch and he only had a Hippopotas at that time. Alright, here he is with three new Pokemons in his team and the first one is gonna be a Vulpix. Nice! I guess I should have actually had my Azumarill up in front, that would have probably helped. As you can see, that was a lot of damage for my Torterra, really. Um, even though I am two level higher from it, I still got a lot of damage so I do have to be quite careful. And of course he has a Leafeon as well. So, why not try and use my Gardevoir? I mean, I can definitely try using Growlithe, but I think um, Leafeon might have a water type move and my Growlithe might go down. Better not to risk it and just go with Psychic. Alright, this one is at level 32 as well, so... Ouch! Okay, never mind. We are still getting a lot of trouble. Um, I wasn't really expecting that, but okay. Um, I guess I shouldn't be expecting any battle to be easy in this game. Um, till now we have been probably struggling for all the battles, so nothing new. But it seems like he's just spamming Hyper Potion at this point. I mean, just stop. You know you're gonna go down. And okay, never mind. We were able to take it down with a crit hit. And now that we have done that, let's see which is his final Pokemon. And it's actually his Hippodon. It has actually evolved. And uh, let's see in which level it's going to be in. I did decide to switch into Azumarill. And it is a level 38. Okay. I was not expecting a Pokemon higher than my level. But this game keeps surprising me. Right. I guess it's going to be a bit tougher now that we are the ones who are... Um, in a lower level at least we were able to give a crit hit even though it did use lack of all right let's see how this one's gonna go i mean we do have the sandstorm up as well so we might have some issues with the accuracy as well all right at least we are doing some amount of damage so i'm happy about that but if the Hippodon does decide to use Slack Off, it will definitely get its health back. So we do have to make sure we take it down before it does something like that. Alright, I think we should be able to take it down here if he doesn't heal it in the next turn. So let's go ahead and try using Bubble Beam again. Uh, that's the only move. And yes, he hasn't healed it and we have won this battle. Alright, this actually makes me decide my mind that I do need to train up. So before I go into the polar forest, I will just go ahead and train up my team members a bit more. Maybe around level 39 and I think we can actually move on from there. 
Well, now that my Pokemon are completely healed and trained up, I did decide to go ahead and go into the polar forest. Seems like Brandon is over here as well and he is mentioning that everyone has made their way to the deep forest. So I guess we are kind of the last members to enter this. Now the deep forest and polar forest are going to be quite huge areas and you are going to be having a lot of trainers to battle over here. Now mainly there are going to be multiple ways that you can actually explore this area. It's kind of very huge and you don't really have a certain path to actually follow. So I'll actually go ahead and explore the whole area to make sure that I battle each and every one of these trainers just because they are actually optional and if you actually complete this cutscene they'll be gone. So you won't be able to you know level up your team members after this. So it's better if you want to kind of train your team members before the next gem. I think this is actually a good place to do so. And as you can see the Pokemons are quite higher in level as well. Level 34 is the highest level that we have seen in a normal grant till now so pretty good for leveling up. Alright, I have gone ahead and just like I said I did decide to go ahead and train up my team members to level 39 and I believe only Leron is at level 40 but that's okay. Alright, I guess it was a pretty easy battle for us since he had only one Pokemon. And I would definitely recommend you guys to buy some super repels because there are a lot of areas with just grass over here and you will definitely get a lot of encounters if you do not have any I guess super repels. Definitely I've gone ahead and bought myself a lot of them. There are a few items in this forest that you'll only get over here if you explore. So I would definitely go ahead and encourage you guys to go ahead and explore this area as well. Alright, here we have our next trainer. It seems like most of them are gonna be just Team Aqua as they have actually defeated the Team Magma Grunts, which is pretty good for us. We don't have to worry too much about them. But th as I said before, this area is quite huge. Now, as I remember, there was one house in this area where you can actually go ahead and heal up your team members. You can definitely go ahead and do that um, if you don't wanna use any of your items right away. Which I would personally recommend as well because once you go into the deep forest, it's pretty far to come back to the polar forest and heat up your team member. It kind of feels like you're wasting your super repels as well. So I would definitely uh, ask you guys to just heal up your team members just before you enter the deep forest and then start using your items. That would actually um, help you guys a lot. Alright, we have defeated the trainer as well. So... I just decided to go north from here. I know that the right route would be probably in the south. So let's actually explore the northern route. Just see what items we can get and see if it's actually a complete dead end. I also believe that the resting house is also at the north over here. So I think it's right about over here. Yep, this is the house where you have to go if you want to actually heal up your team members. And now that we are actually here, I won't be actually, you know, healing up my team members. I don't think it's needed right away. But definitely I'll go ahead and use up my super repels. It's actually helping me from getting all of these unnecessary encounters. Before we move on, I'll just go ahead and go down over here. It seems like there is an item in the other side. Um, I guess we can actually pick that up as well. For that, you do have to go south of this trainer. And here there's another item, an elixir. I believe that there is another headbutt tree in this forest as well. Yep, it is right over there. And I do not think it will give you any different encounter. I guess it will have kind of the same encounters which you have back in Deepak Forest. But you can definitely go ahead and check out what Pokemons you might get. I mean, They'll at least be a higher level than the debug forest, so that's good. Alright, here are the next pair of trainers. And now that I actually see these guys, I feel like this is actually the right path that you can actually go through. So let's actually go over here. And we can actually turn back once we have to actually heal up our team members. And then explore the uh, forest above as well. 
Now this is quite nice. We are going to have another double batter. I always enjoy a double batter more than a single batter. So I'm really happy about this one. And of course they have a Wilmer and a gold batch. That is a very different combo. Not bad. Um, we should be able to take them both down with just my Morga and Gardevoir. Let's see how this goes. Alright, Wilmer did go down with one hit. Even though Imolga doesn't have Thunderbolt, even at this level, um, Spark is doing pretty good damage. And I'm actually hoping to pick up the Thunderbolt DM soon. So, hoping we can still use Spark until then. Alright, this trainer actually has a C draw. Now, that is pretty cool to see one over here. I usually like Horsey and C draw, they're pretty good. Um, they're quite strong, and the moveset is pretty good as well. And of course, we didn't have too much trouble taking it down, although it did poison us. But I'm not too worried about the poison. I think we can still heal it up pretty fine, so we are good. Now, that was really good battle, so I'm quite happy about that. I did go ahead and kind of move my items in the bag so that I'll have all the healing items um, up in the top. Whenever I'm playing any kind of Pokemon game, I usually like to just sort of my bag. Just to make sure that I have the items that I really need up in top. So it is much easier to actually go ahead and quickly heal up your team members that way as well. Alright, here we have a second double battle. I feel like this area is gonna have a lot of double battles. So I'm really happy about that. So let's see what Pokemon these trainers are gonna have. Now, if you do not want to have a double battle, definitely go ahead and just talk to one of them before you go across the path. Uh, that way you'll be able to avoid the double battle and get the single battle that you want. Alright. They actually have a Carvana and a Gold Bat. That's nice. Seems like everyone has a Gold Bat these days. Um, we did see a Magma Trainer having a Zubat and I was just commenting that I hadn't really seen trainers use it. But apparently it's become a whole thing now and everyone's using it. So, nice to see. I'm personally a big fan of Zubat and its evolution. It might seem like it doesn't do damage but Crobat is really good. It is super fast and it can definitely hit much harder than you think. Especially if you have a move like Sludge Bomb on it, it does a lot of damage and it's a great addition to your team if you want to add one. Alright, they actually had a Tentacruel as well. Even though the Pokemon levels are not that high as ours, you can see that there are some stronger Pokemons coming up in this game now. And that is one thing I really like about these uh, ROM hacks. Usually in a normal Pokemon game, even though how far your Pokemons are leveled up, the trainers will usually have the first stage of evolution Pokemons, kind of like a Charmander or just a Squirtle. But here in these raw mags, they actually have fully evolved Pokemons as their partners in the battle. So that is really good because they do definitely give us a lot more EXP and help us level up pretty fast. Alright, quite nice. I think the level up for my team members currently are still good because once we go to the admin battles, I'm pretty sure they're going to be around the same level as my Pokemons are going to be. So I think I'm still not, you know, uh, training up my Pokemons too higher. Alright, let's actually look around and pick up items. And it seems like we do have a lone um, Team Aqua member over here. Quite weird, but okay. I think we can actually take this guy down as well. And of course he just has a Zedra. Let's quickly go ahead and use my Imolga Spark. And we should be able to take it down. One good thing about Team Aqua members is that most of them have either a flying type or a water type. So if you have an electric type Pokemon in your team, definitely go ahead and keep them up in front. They should be having a much easier time taking down your opponents than any other team members. Alright, it seems like we are almost at the deep forest over here. Um, once you go through a staircase that is um, up in front, that is to the platform that you saw in the left side. You'll actually be entering the deep forest, which I don't think I want to explore for now. 
let me quickly go ahead and explore the polar forest completely and then we can actually make our way uh, forward to the deep forest all right seems like we have a team magma grant over here but apparently he has been defeated so we don't really have a chance of battling him all right i guess we are gonna be just checking out if there are any items up in front over here but it doesn't seem like it so we can actually go back so if you go through the stairs it will actually go to the deep forest not something that i want to actually explore for now i think we can actually go ahead and do that in the next episode now that we are actually coming up closer to the 13 minutes point well i'm back at the bridge where we just had the house for healing our pokemon this time instead of going to the north i do want to go ahead and check out the other areas as well but definitely i do have to put up my super pills there are a few pokemon that you can encounter in this forest but i don't think any of them are that good so i didn't really go to check out any of the encounters as you can see there are definitely a few items that you will only get if you come to this part of the forest so definitely go ahead and explore it before you go forward to the deep forest the reason why i'm saying this is because once you go to the deep forest you will have a cut scene that's going to come up once the cut scene starts you won't be able to come back over here until you have completed all the things over there so it is better to just check out this area and then go over there that way you can easily uh, leave the forest as soon as the cut scene is over i guess this side of the forest is kind of a dead end but at least we did have a statue of celebi over there so it's always quite nice to see one and you can actually find a cotney over here if you do want to add a grass type pokemon to your team cotney is pretty good um i'm not really sure how it evolves but i believe it evolves using a stone it is pretty good but i think my torterra is better so i'm not going to be catching it all right let's actually make our way back and go through this other path that we were exploring Right, I guess we are back at the healing house. So let me actually why not go ahead and heal up my team members as well. And since we have explored a lot in this episode and picked up a lot of new items, I think this is actually a good place for me to go ahead and end out this episode. In the next one, we'll go ahead and go back to the deep forest. and we'll definitely continue the storyline we are going to have a chance to catch a legendary pokemon as well so it's going to be pretty exciting all right thank you all for watching my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one